Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial on interfaces this time. So interfaces are awesome. They're actually very similar to abstract classes. So if you have not seen the abstract classes video, um, I would highly recommend you take a look at that. It would make a lot more sense um, for these interfaces. Anyways, um, but we'll, ju we'll just go ahead and jump right in. Interfaces are overcomplicated by a lot of people. They really don't have a ton of functionality or special functionality. Um, they're really just contracts. Um, so like abstract classes, um, we essentially just, if we want to implement uh, one of the members, we have free reign on how we want to do it. Um, but if we are going to inherit from um, the uh, the interface, then we have to implement those members. So let's go ahead and jump in. Excuse me. Interface. And we can call this animal. All right. So with an interface, all we have to do, let's say we want to make a function get name. So just like the uh, function we had in um, for our abstract class with get name, um, except the difference is with abstract classes, we we're able to make our own function as well, like make sound, and we're actually able to um, do that. However, we can't actually run a implementation of a function inside of an interface. These an interface is essentially where everything is abstract. Everything. You can't have any implementation whatsoever. So if you're going to have a function in here, then it's going to be abstract. It's going to need to, uh, let's see, oops, excuse me. Um, if if uh, you are going to have a function, then you need to um, have it be abstract. So let's go ahead. We can implement animal here and we have an error does not implement get name so of course we need to implement it all right and there we go get name and of course in here we can do whatever we want return excuse me um, crazy awesome animal name anyways so this is how essentially you would declare an interface, um, how you would implement an interface member as well, right here, and um, how you essentially use it in your program. So you essentially just call it and you're able to implement these, uh, whatever members are in here. And the beauty of this is it keeps everything on the same page. For instance, if we have an animal, if we have multiple different kinds of animals, um, but each one gets the name differently, then all we have to do is make sure that we have uh, this get name function, and each animal can um, get the name however they please. But if you're going to be, if you're going to use animal, then you have to implement um, all of the attributes of an animal. But you can but you can uh, actually use them. And as you please. So um, I hope this makes sense. This is, uh, again, an interface is really just a way of organizing code. There's no um, specific um, functionality to it or any magic to it. It's just a way of helping us um, adhere to better object-oriented programming principles. So um, it's a very, it's a pretty simple concept for the most part, um, just being able to implement the members. So if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. If you'd like me to go a little bit more in depth as well, I'd be more than happy to, but there really is not too much to interfaces. So definitely let me know in the comments section and reach out to me directly if you have any other questions. And until then, I will see you next time.